morning. This, uh, today we're going to go over how to use a particular plugin. This one is called GWA Autoresponder. And Autoresponder is a program that will send out emails for you on a scheduled uh, basis. You can tell it, say, when somebody signs up for your list, they initially get, the, on, at ze day zero, they get a welcome message that says something like, thank you for subscribing to our list. And maybe you want them to get another message on day one that says, so you signed up for our list yesterday, do you have any questions, please contact us. And on day seven, uh, you can actually schedule it to continue to contact each lead based on when they subscribed to the list. So they're not all necessarily getting the same message on the same day, but they get them in the same sequence at the same time frame. Um, that's actually a real powerful way that this software can be used. A lot of people just use this software as a mailing list for their uh, to manage their mailing list for their leads. I am in the dashboard for GWA Autoresponder. Uh, over here on the right hand side, this is the form that shows up on your website and that is where people that just represents the code that being put into the background that you don't need to understand what that says it's standard html code um, over here on the upper left hand corner if there are messages queued to go out to uh, different leads at different times this would tell you how many messages are in the queue when the next time it's going to run and all that sort of stuff uh, up in the right hand corner we have the total number of lists in this case we only have one list you might have a list of people that want to get special announcements only, other people that want to get uh, newsletters, various lists that people can sign up, and this is, would actually tell you what you have, what the lists are called, how many people are on them. Uh, over here on the left hand side we have some custom fields that can show up. In this case this is the default. We don't have a custom footer. This might be a good thing to have where you would want to put a link to your website maybe with your website slogan or your company's slogan. Um, that would be what you would enter in the custom footer. We don't have it enabled because we don't have anything in it. Uh, custom unsubscribe text. We definitely want to keep this and we do want to add the unsubscribe link to all messages as a courtesy to the people who sign up for our list. These are very generic uh, responses that they get when they sign up and that's all we want right now. That, that works. Uh, down here at the bottom, um, if I have installed this for you on your website, I will have already set the throttle which keeps you from sending out a bazillion emails at once and pissing off your hosting company and getting your emails blocked. <laughs> So uh, these generally are set somewhere in the uh, mid-range of what is allowed and that is uh, just like I said it keeps it's a throttle to slow down the output of the messages if you have a really huge list you do not want to send out 2,000 messages at once because your email your hosting company will turn off your outgoing email when you try to do that uh, and this prevents that it automates the system. Now if you're going to use this as an autoresponder per se, where you want your customers, your leads who sign up to get uh, individual lists, uh, individual emails based on a, a set sequence, you would use this add message feature. Uh, it's the same thing we're going to use in just a minute. I'm going to demonstrate in, in for just sending an email. This would let you uh, set up the emails that you're going to send. And this is where, this is where you would tell it which day, day one, all the way through 365, day zero, meaning today all the way through 365 of the emails that your customers are going to get. If you sent one for every day, they will unsubscribe immediately. Um, but you could send an email that they're going to get in a sequence for once a week, once a month, whatever. Um, it does work. In any case, if you've already set them up, the edit message will let you choose the email to make changes to it to fix it. In this case, we only have the one email that they're going to get immediately after they sub get their co subscription confirmation. Uh, to say thank you for responding. And if you have more than one list, you can manage them here. You could create another list if you wanted one. As I said, that would be so that you could manage what information are going to which people. Uh, if you wanted to add leads, say you have your email list from another source that you've collected leads and you don't want to spam people. This would be people who you know want to hear from you. You could add them one at a time, add new leads, in this section, you can import your leads in bulk form. Uh, the easiest way to do that would be to have your leads in, say, Microsoft Excel and then do File, Save As, CSV format, and that would automatically give you the information you need. Then open that up in a text reader and copy the text. And the text would look something like this, where you have a quotation mark, the name, quotation mark, comma, and the email. 
Typically the email does not have to be in quotation marks because it is just one word. And these are one one item per line, so one name and email per line, and then you would click Add New Lead and they would be added to the email list automatically. Our big plan here is we're going to email the leads. And we're not actually going to email the leads because this is a message I made up and it's not the client's message. Since we only have the one list, we don't have to choose anything here. And in this case, if we want to send it to the whole list, which is what we would most people are going to tend to do, um, you can leave these blank. It does give you the option to say just send messages to uh, people who have signed it before or after a particular date. Uh, and if that makes sense, you can add that date in here. And the date format is year, 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 dash, month, month, dash, day, day. So 2010 dash, zero, two, dash, zero, six. Uh, you have to put all the, the numbers in the right sequence. Uh, and it tells you the format right there. Now, most of the time, I'm going to guess you're going to want to send an HTML message. And most email readers can read HTML, so that shouldn't be a problem. Now, so in the subject line, this is what you want to type. You want to type something here that's going to make people actually want to open the email. So don't just say, here's a message for you, or read this, or whatever. It's a headline. It's just like any other marketing thing, is type a subject in here that is actually going to get people to click on the email. Now, in the body, we can get a little more creative and draw people in. This is where you're going to share the information. It could be just uh, to get them back to your website to look at a link. It could be announce a new product, it could be to announce a new event, whatever it is. Um, that's where you're going to put it. So we're going to put, we, here we would put a fancy interesting headline. Ha! Huh. Creative there, huh? And I have typed a message here. Now this is plain text. Now we have the option here to dress this up, which is a good idea if you want people to actually get excited about your emails. We're not going to go too crazy here. Uh, let's say this first one, we're talking about a romantic Valentine's Day dinner. And we can go bold. And we can go bigger. And over here we can change the color. We got a hot pink that works for me. <laughs> okay. Um, Odd, odd response without that at that time. Okay, so we have the headline in, in within the web as a bigger piece of text, and it's a nice color. And we have the text, the basic text of the menu here. And down here at the bottom, I've got visit our website for more details. Uh, and I'm going to highlight that since we're saying visit our website. I want to make that a link. And since it's a link, we have a link, a chain link. Wow, that's a great thing, isn't it? All right. We pull this open where we can see it, and we would type the entire email list. So uh, it has to have the HTTP colon slash slash before the web address. And on the target, I always pick target blank because I don't want this to replace. If they're writing this in an email reader online like Google or Yahoo and they click the link, you don't want it to replace the window they're in because it annoys people. So have it open a new window. All right. Uh, title for the per for our purposes is not going to matter. Title tags are a lot more important. Say if you're using something for SEO, this is an email. Doesn't matter. Okay, and we're going to click insert. So this is now a link. If people get this in their email, they can click on it. And we're going to go ahead and write our signature uh, from your friends at trading post BK wine, bar, and grill. And at this point, all we would need to do is click continue. I'm not going to click continue because I don't want to send this to my uh, my customer's list. Anyway, uh, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you have any questions, please visit me at computerdesigngraphics.com or call me. My phone number's on that website. And at the bottom of the page, there's also even a Google Call Me thing where you can call me for free. You have a great day. Thanks a lot.